Good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful morning and an exciting day. Um, Ricky is at work. He had to run to work for just uh, an hour. It's an exciting weekend for us. We're taking a quick trip up to New York to go see um, a show that I've been really interested in seeing before it closes, A Strange Loop on Broadway. Um, it's a Tony Award winning show. And uh, for some reason these shows are closing whenever they're award winning and I don't like it, but we are gonna go see this before it closes. It celebrates being black, being gay, and it's a moment, it's a vibe, and we have to go check it out. So, um, when Ricky gets back from work, we're going to start our commute up to New York. It's a quick flight, like from Atlanta, about two hours, so maybe not that quick, but y'all get the point and check into our hotel, excited we're staying at a new hotel with exciting bells and whistles. Gonna have dinner at a really cool restaurant. We're just kind of like doing a lot of things and gonna bring you along with us for this weekend vibe. And glad that we are able to do things like this. Um, this is definitely how we like to spend our time when we have the means and the time. Time itself is like money, right? Like it's capital that you could deploy to do the things that you want. And we have not had that luxury um, much of our lives, <laughs> it seems, but now we have a little bit more time. Um, so we're gonna capitalize on it and by doing something that we both love, which is seeing shows. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're up to this weekend. We're gonna take you guys along, but first, uh, our baby girl, Zora, she is not coming with us, obviously. She can't come on this trip, even though she was in the last trip, the Christmas video. We're gonna drop her off at Wagalot in Atlanta, which is where we board her. Every time we go out of town, she is staying with her friends over there, Wagalot. They've taken good care of our girl for like, you know, seven, eight or nine years at this point. So, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take her to the dog boarding facility, to her doggy hotel as you could say. Come back here, get ready to go to the airport, and then we'll be well on our way. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up, and comment below what some of your travel plans are for this year. We're really trying to pick up our travel this year. We've got a really, 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 really exciting trip coming up in a few months, like a once in a lifetime bucket list trip for us but there's so much more you know that we're going to show you guys this year too so uh give us some tips and advice and where you know we should have on our radar other than that yep about to go drop our baby girl off and come back here get ready and head to the airport hopefully ricky gets off in time so we don't miss our flight <sighs> but you know it is what it is all right Peace. Some good peoples um, checking in. Ricky just got home from work. I was gonna do like a get ready with me segment for the video, what we're wearing and what we're bringing with us on this short trip, but there's no time, no time we got to get to moving. So we are, um, Ricky's tying up some loose ends and then hop in the car, head to the airport, be along our way. Okay, you ready, finally? Yes. You got what you need? Yes. You ready to go? Look, if we ain't got it by now, we don't need it. Or we can buy it, or get it, or borrow it, or something. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna park at the airport. The whole weekend is right here in this bag for me. And Ricky has another handbag with his stuff. But yeah, the Telfi large bag, it's giving me everything. Like I can carry it everywhere. I love it. And the fact that everything is packed in here. I have my tech stuff in here, my computer and everything. Computer headphones, etc. But yeah. We are good to go. Ooh, look how smudgy that mirror is getting. 
Ugh. Let me fix that. Anyway, but here we go. This is our stuff. You look like you're in the Matrix. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. I'm here. Here and accounted for. Y'all. Thank God this lot is open. <laughs> the daily lot is back open at Atlanta Airport. So glad. It has been closed forever. It's either closed or it's completely full. And that means you have to park very far in a massive parking deck. I mean, it's not it's not terrible, but I mean, first world problems. Like we would rather park steps away from the gate. So Great, this is wonderful. Now we need to find a spot. <laughs> there we go, here 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 we go. Yes, I know that's right. Get on up in there, we're gonna work our way up in there. I'm a little tired. having this problem where Ricky's um, TSA pre-check uh, designation does not show up on his boarding pass. So hopefully we can clear it up once and for all here at the gate. This has been an inconvenience. Nothing that's like too terrible, but you know, an inconvenience nonetheless. So that's what we're doing now. Making a quick pit stop, talk to an agent, get this pre-check situation worked out. made it to JFK and at the taxi stand decided to take a cab because we're in a bit of a rush and don't want to wait on a Uber or Lyft so headed to the hotel now. Also why is it so gloomy? It was beautiful in Atlanta and now it's cloudy and gloomy in New York like not what it's supposed to be given but we'll make the most out of it. Crazy. Oh, this bathroom. <gasps> wow. The shower? Okay, so this must be the toilet. Oh, look at this sink, the fixtures, the digital mirror. Oh, this is nice. And then the main area. I love this side table. Oh, they even gave us a little cupcake. What is that, like a oh. Oil on top? Uh, I think so. This dope mirror. <sighs> a lot of mirrors. <gasps> Ooh, look at this bed, y'all. Yeah, it's pretty spacious. The bed is great. Nice king size moment. Look at this little 
Panel. What that do? It's like a little menu. Oh yeah, this is where you request like your services and stuff. Mm-hmm. Nice. I like the room. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Very nice. Very nice. We've got some robes and some slippers there. Let's see what's in here. Slide this open. Coffee, but wait, there's more. It's not just coffee. There's, oh, these are clothes, like things you can buy, which, you know, child, we black, we don't be buying stuff at the hotel like that. Gym, fitness stuff. Come on, foam which roller. Which is cool, foam roller, yoga mat. What else, what else, what else? Safety deposit box. Very cool, very nice. This beautiful Nespresso machine, which I don't know how to use, so I won't be touching. And then some liquor, oh, look at that ice container. Wow. So I think it's worth noting that this is a wellness hotel, which explains some of the fitness stuff. The Equinox is a gym fitness club here throughout New York and they have a hotel now so it's a little controversial as well I believe there's some drama surrounding the Equinox brand but this hotel is nice and I'm glad we came here shout out to American Express for giving us the hookup this is not sponsored or anything like that I wish it was but you know with points we were able to afford this stay and benefit from like all the like points, um, the $100 credit for drinks, food, in-room dining, all that, or whatever we want, plus $70 for breakfast and all kinds of other little benefits. So yeah, this joint is nice. Definitely gonna stay here again, but we're here for one night only. Yeah. All right, we are headed out to this is cool. We're headed out to Planta Queen for dinner. It is a vegan restaurant here in New York that I've been wanting to try. And after that, we'll be headed to see a strange loop. We'll be headed to the show. So yeah, this hotel is really nice. I really like this mirror. Yeah. back there so yeah just had dinner at Santa Queen it was absolutely amazing
outside of Take Me Out. Because because if you know, you know. Wesley, you don't want to you don't want nobody to know. I wasn't waiting for Jesse Williams. I was across. The I was waiting. <laughs> Cause if you know, you know. But it was taking too long, and it's like frigid, frigid out here. So we moving on. We at the Woo Woo. Oh, you can't. And it's a speakeasy that requires a password. Apparently, like exclusivity or exclusion. Right near Times Square, actually. Yeah. Who's cold? Food is gonna warm us up, so I cannot wait. No judge me. I'm like not supposed to be eating meat, but like I need, I need some hot dog. <laughs> That's funny. So this this food truck stand is literally like outside of our hotel. So we're like, Let's go. We're, we're here for one night, we're here for a good time, not a long time. So yeah. What are you, what are you getting again? Sunday morning and our last day here in New York. And before we get the day started, we're gonna go use the fitness club here at the Equinox because it is, everything centers around the gym here and I feel like it'd be foolish not to go get a workout in while we're here. So we're gonna go do that. And then, and then after that, we're gonna get Starbucks, uh, which is right outside the hotel. Um, searching for or trying to get the baby yoda drink that's trending on tiktok and everywhere so yeah we were out pretty late last night to like well in my opinion late like two o'clock which is past my bedtime past ricky's bedtime as well um but we made it up to go to the gym so yeah let's go get this workout in breakfast on thanks to booking through amex we have a credit for food dining and other services and amenities at the hotel so we're going to take advantage of that um but yeah headed back to atlanta today but i feel like we've definitely made the most of these 24 hours so Listen, we have made this a, a real quick trip very effective though yeah Soon. However, now just one more. 
I mean, it's a mess right now. But one more look. Take my word. This year, by the end of this year, Ricky and I's bedroom is not gonna look exactly like this, but it's gonna look similar. Like this is the the aesthetic mm -hmm. that I want. So warm, moody. I don't know. There's something about it. So I love coming to hotels like this, trying new places and getting inspiration for ways that I want to live every day. So and this is definitely that. Nice. I'm gonna miss this mirror. All right. But first, Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> Finally getting a baby hood. I've been talking about this whole weekend. Baby Yoda drink. Yeah. All right, we got the Baby Yoda from Starbucks here. Here's a start. Come down into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I guess once it moves around, it kind of sinks down. But let's see how it tastes. Mm. I feel like you're getting most of the. It's matcha. definitely matcha up top, yeah. but it's good. Yeah, it's definitely a short-lived, like, picture moment. It was a rough flight. It was a little, oh. little shaky. And it was hot. They didn't have the air on. I was burning up. I'm a little sweaty right now. Not happy, but I made it. I mean, we made it, babe. <laughs> I'm so glad that we parked in the hourly slash daily parking lot. So all we do is walk out the door, go straight to our car, which is a rare opportunity in Atlanta. We're back home. We weren't gone long, but this feels good to be home. We did it. Um, we did it in a New York minute. New York and back. We're gonna make that the title of this video. Yeah. I feel bad because we didn't like properly review A Strange Loop, which was the show that we went to go see. Um, and it closes next week. Uh, it's a Tony Award winning show. It's about being black and queer and kind of a coming of age, um, you know, in modern day times. And it's very interesting. Highly recommend, you know, at least giving the soundtrack a listen. It's on, you know, streaming services, but um, very provocative show. Uh, now, when we got up there, we saw, we didn't see the actual show. We saw like a adaptation of it. We saw a modified format mm -hmm. featuring the show writer, Michael R. Jackson. So that was nice. Performing the role of Usher, who is the main character. It's, you know, a Broadway, production about a black queer man, a writer writing a Broadway production. He is, you know, it's a story about him. So it was modified. It's not the same. There wasn't much choreo, not much in terms of like set change or outfit changes. It's very much not what we paid for, but I think we got a good surprise and I enjoyed it, so. Yeah. 
But anyway, we're about to turn in for the night. So this will probably be the end of this video. Yeah, thank you guys for coming along with us for this weekend, it was fun. If you like what you see in this video, a little comment. Let us know some new spots to check out when we're back in New York. I'm sure we'll go yeah. again eventually. Weekend trips. Yeah. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you like this content. And... Give else? this video a thumbs up. Oh, don't forget to share. Don't forget to share this video. Yeah. That's all. All right. Peace. See y'all next time.